Hello everyone and welcome to Chess5. Today I'm going to show you the game between Caruana Fabian vs Wesley So. And this game is from the Grand Chess 2 Superbet Chess Classic Romania 2021. And this is the round number 4 which I'm going to show you the game. So Wesley So is white and Caruana Fabian is black. So let's check it out what happened in the game. I think you will like it. So Wesley So with the white pieces started with one c4 the english opening and Caruana fabian with the black pieces replied with e5 g3 knight to f6 bishop to g2 bishop to c5 here d3 here c6 planning to play d5 and take control of the center so white played knight to f3 simply developing the pieces and also hitting the pawn on e5 so black defended it by playing d6 Castle, castle, and now knight to c3. Here, a5 trying to grab some space on the queen side. So, Wesley played d4, striking the striking with the center. Here, bishop to g5 was also a fine move, but okay, Wesley so decided to open up the center by playing d4. Here, black is having options like he can push the pawn and he can say like, okay, you can grab my bishop and I'm going to grab your knight. Or as he can grab the d4 pawn. So in the game, Wesley so, uh, sorry, Caruana Fabiano with the black piece decided to capture the pawn with the pawn. So Wesley played knight into d4. Here a4 grabbing more space on the queen side. So Wesley played rook to b1 saying okay you can push more and I will play b4. I will also grab some space on the queen side. So here in this position Caruana played rook to e8. Simply developing the pieces, e3, now the f pawn is protecting the e3 pawn and the e3 pawn is protecting the knight on d4. So in this position, Karwana played queen to a5, bishop to d2, there, some, there could be some discover attacks by mo moving the knight to somewhere to d5 and the bishop is hitting the queen. So Karwana played first bishop to g4, hitting the queen on d1 and the bishop is protecting protected by the knight on f6 so uh, in this position Wesley played f3 and this looks like an ugly move because you can see the king looks a slight weak and e3 as well as the f3 pawn looks little bit weak but again okay, once white play e4 bishop e3 it looks nice but for now it's looking a ugly position at the place of playing f3 Wesley could have played queen to c2 and the and after bishop takes pawn takes white is having a very nice position very fine position and he can play rook f1 and simply continuing his development but okay he gone for f3 so in this position Corvana played bishop to h5 back plan to play bishop to g6 hitting the rook on b1 so Wesley played knight to e4 saying okay do you want to trade knights and but you can't trade because I'm taking a queen on a5. So Corvana played queen to d8. Here knight into c5, d into c5. Here knight to e2. Queen comes to d3, hitting the pawn on c4. Or perhaps there could be some plans by playing knight to a6 and rook to d8, creating some pressure on the d2 bishop. So Wesley played knight to f4 attacking the queen on d6 d3 and also attacking the bishop on h5 so Corvana played queen into c4 grabbing a pawn here b3 attacking the queen on c4 here a into b3 a into b3 re-attacking the queen on c4 here queen to b5 and here pushing the e4 and you can see white is having a very nice center taking all control of the center and i think white is going to play bishop to c3 and take control of all the four squares or the all the four middle square and white would be having a very nice position so in this position black decided to play bishop to g6 here bishop to c3 as i told you now wesley is controlling all the center squares so Karwana played knight to a6 Developing the pieces and also preparing to play rook a d8. So Wesley played here h4. 
sub plans can be to play g4 h5 here h5 cannot be made directly because knight can take the pawn simply in this position karwana played h5 and it is it looks very ugly in this position he should have gone rook d8 hitting the queen on d1 so queen have to move to like queen c1 and here black can simply play h6 no it's a blunder because after bishop into pawn into and here knight into pawn into bishop queen into and it's winning position for white but still after h4 rook d8 if queen c1 then black simply plays knight to knight to d5 and many of you were thinking okay why can't white simply capture the knight because if white captures the knight on d5 then black will capture the rook on b1 queen into b1 c into d5 and black is playing okay very nice black is having a nice position no issues but again the game after h4 karwana played h5 and we can see it will cost him a bad position in the future so in the in this after playing h5 wesley played queen to c1 here king to h7 rook to d1 rook to d8 asking whether wesley wants to trade the rook on d8 but he plays queen to b2 denying the rook trade and also threatening to take the knight on f6 so karwana played c4 trying to open up the position but here wesley simply captures the knight pawn takes queen takes here rook takes rook takes and here queen to c5 check king to h2 queen to e7 as uh, so okay black is having a not a good position black is having a bad position so kolwana is trying to trade the queens on e7 and here wesley simply traded the queens and pawn takes and if you count the pawns white is one pawner white is having five pawns and black is having four pawns and equal material but okay white is having one pawn extra so white is completely winning com white is having completely winning po uh, position for in this position in this game uh and if you see the bishop on g6 it's very ugly because the pawn on f7 and h5 is helping white to keeping the bishop on g6 and the bishop is having no squares to go so that's why white is winning completely in this position so after b into c4 black played king to g7 making a square for the bishop to come to h7 g8 and perhaps playing f6 hitting the pawn on c4 but it requires many moves so okay after king to g7 white played bishop to h3 making a nice nice diagonal for the bishop to come to c8 so your knight to c5 your rook just swings to d6 your f6 making a square for the bishop to come to f7 hitting the pawn on c4 so white plays knight to e6 check saying do you want to trade the knights but okay black is not having any other choices because white if black will move the king anywhere the knight will simply capture the knight on c5 so knight into e6 is forced here bishop into e6 here bishop goes to e8 here c5 cementing the rook on d6 and you can see now uh the b the b7 and the c6 pawn no pawn can move because it doesn't matter where they move if black will try to play b5 white will simply and pass it and play c into b6 and okay it's basically we can say that the one pawn is holding these two pawns and it's very nice position for white so after c5 black played bishop to f7 saying okay do you want to do bishops wesley obviously de declines bishop to c8 rook to e5 hitting the pawn on c5 but it's too late because here bishop into b7 rook into c5 rook into c6 and here you can see that white is two pawn plus and it's completely winning position for white but still karwana continued playing here rook b5 hitting the bishop on b7 bishop to a6 hitting the rook on b5 so rook to b2 check king to g1 bishop to e8 hitting the rook on c6 so rook goes to c5 king to h6 king to f1 bishop to d7 bishop to e2 making a square for the king to come to f1 f2 e3 and f4 
so your black plays bishop to e8 king to f2 rook to b3 not allowing king to come to e3 so your white plays rook to d5 idea is to play simply rook to d3 and then play rook king e3 king f4 so rook comes to a3 bishop to d3 okay your king goes to g7 king to e3 rook to b3 king to f4 rook to b4 rook to c5 bishop to f7 rook to c7 king to g6 and g4 and in this position after move 52 Caruana Fabiano with the black pieces resigned the game and Wesley so with the white pieces won the game it was a very fantastic game and if you look closely there was very less mistakes by both the opponents but okay the move which black played h5 it was mm, it was a little bit weak and then we can see that white simply crushed black position and won the game so guys if you like this video then please like to my video and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and bye bye